Okay, on the next um, several problems, let's decide which would be the best method to solve the quadratic. We know that we've studied graphing, factoring, square roots, completing the square and the quadratic formula, and we have this problem right here. Now, I know maybe the favorite place way to do it would be factoring, but if I move that one over to the other side of this equation, I know the factors of one are one and one, and that cannot make a 10, so factoring would not be a good method. I'm thinking since 10 is even, and this um, A is one, completing the square might be a really good method to work this. So let's complete the square. I'm gonna take x squared minus 10x, leave a spot for a C, and then write that one down. Now, to complete the square, we have to find, um, we have to take this B and find the C. We do so by taking the negative 10 and halving it and getting a negative five, and then taking the negative five and squaring it. And that creates us a perfect square that I can add to both sides of the equation. And the reason I wanna do that is so that I create a perfect square trinomial that we've learned to factor really fast. All right, the perfect square trinomial, the first term will be the square root of x squared, which is x. And the last term will be the square root of 25, which is five. And I'll look right here, and I know it's gonna be a minus, and then I've got my square. 25 plus one is 26. Okay, now I can um, get rid of this, this exponent too by taking the square root because they're opposites. And I remember there's gotta be a positive and a negative answer there. So the square cancels the square root out and x minus five is freed from the radical and I've got the plus or minus square root of 26. Okay, so that's not a whole number. I will add five to both sides and then I will have the um, five plus the square root of 26, and then I will also have five minus the square root of 26. So we're gonna need the calculator for that. Five plus the square root of 26 is 10.099, so that one will be about 10.1. That nine will make that nine go up to a 10. And then five minus the square root of 26, which would be about negative 0.99. So that'd be about negative 0. Point, well, 0. 0.1 again. 